See the giant mole right here, can't you? Old school people know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. If you're old school, you're like me. You were born before 93. 93 is the first year they let us, the public, log into the internet. That was the 93 was the information superhighway. So if you're born before 93, make some noise. You're my people, for real. You're old school people. Woo! How many of you had a pager like me in high school? Drug dealer, drug dealer, drug dealer. <laughs> Who else paid a late fee at Blockbuster Video at some point in your life? You're lazy, Michael, you're lazy. You killed Blockbuster, it wasn't Netflix. Comedians, you wanna just jump into the show or what? What do you guys say? You ready? All right, all right. All right first up, our first guy with the all over New York City. You may have seen him in some very funny skits on Late Show with Stephen Colbert, everybody. Tell me Bob, everybody, here we go. Let's go. The stage is all yours. Just had Valentine's Day, love is in the air still, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. I went to a wedding recently. They're not gonna make it. <laughs> They're not. There were babies at the wedding, and when the couple was saying their vows, the baby was crying nonstop. I was like, this baby knows something. <laughs> These are divorce cries. <laughs> When my friend got engaged to the guy, she posted a picture of him proposing on Instagram, and her caption was, today I said yes to the man of my dreams. She is lying. <laughs> the man of her dreams is Idris Elba. <laughs> Clearly. No stupid, no dummy, no dumb, stupid person. Her fiance's a regular guy, I'm a regular guy too. If any lady told me that I was the man of her dreams, I'd be like, dream bigger. <laughs> I'm not even a man of my dreams. I just want to see some honesty in these proposal pictures. I want to see an engagement photo where the caption tells the truth. So I'm just saying, like, today I said yes to the man of my circumstances. <laughs> uh, good news, this year, since it's a leap year, we get an extra day of Black History Month. That's right, guys, there's 29 days this month. And, uh, with the extra day, they can finally cover what they don't every other year. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, every year they're like, sorry, we don't have 30 days. We need the full 30 to cover it. But with the 29th day, they can tell you the full extent of black history, which is what the CIA and the FBI did. All right, guys, that's, that's the full extent of black history, guys, all right? We actually only get black history every four years. Uh, last four years was Tulsa. This year, who knows what's going to happen, you know? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm doing... I'm all right, guys. I'm, I'm getting... In fact, get a circumcision. I was, I was the CEO of that buzzsaw company that I was talking about. No, I actually did. And it's pretty cool. I, I look a lot sleeker now. I can dunk now. Yeah, we're I'm not cool with that. But if you call me like, if you call me like a Jigaboo or something like that, like really pull some out of the archives, I'm going to be cool with you. I'm going to be cool with you. I was going to ask here uh, if anybody knew what cup holding was, but based on all the previous performances, I think everybody in here knows what cup holding is. <laughs> Especially Jay. Sorry, Jay. Uh, it's just your entire disposition. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 Jay's cool. Real quick, is anybody working one of those uh, corporate jobs where they call each other family? <laughs> no? Nobody else is new? Nobody's in? Yes. Pay my rent. Pay my rent. Good people. I thought you were good people. I'm not here for jokes. I want $950. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. 20 roommates. Yeah. One bedroom, 20 roommates. Hell yeah. 950, not bad. Yeah. Community has a bad apple. That's me. I've been lying all ways. Doesn't matter what route I gotta take, I put catastrophic events on that route. I'm like, yo, 0.7 miles, the Highland Tunnel exploded. <laughs> Had the whole tunnel. Tu it's easier, but for me personally, with the ponytail, I feel like I look like a sex symbol right now. <laughs> I don't know how it makes you feel, but when I look in the mirror, I feel like I see a reggae tone artist. Yeah! I feel <laughs> yeah. I asked my girlfriend before I left the house, I was like, yo, you like the ponytail? She was like, yeah. You look like the sexiest auto mechanic I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> look like a model for pet boys. I love that shit. Man, it's a really hard. It's a two-hour 